Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie the Zidane. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and let's move on to a game between Kshatra and Magman on Living Lands. Seen a lot of 400 today, let's see somebody else. So, yeah, this map, pretty cool map. Kshatra going for Cloaky Bot Factory, very small, Cloaky favored. Although, Jump Bot, I mean, Bot favored in general. Although, to be fair, it's fairly flat, so you often see anything in this map. But Cloaky and Shields are the most common because they are generally the simple Bot Factories you see everywhere. They're quite versatile. Jump bots are useful too, and we are seeing Magman using them, but it's a little bit less usual. I'm curious what's going to happen here, though. Jump bot versus Cloaky favors jump bot, especially if the jump bot player uses puppies, which they are. Magman using puppies, which give Glaives a hard time. Glaives pretty much can't kill puppies in time before the puppies kill them. Like they can't really kite puppies. Bandits, on the other hand, kind of can kite. They can, they can kite puppies. Not kind of. They can kite them, but Glaives can't. However, this should be able, this one glaive here, the hero glaive, might be able to take out a few of these metal extractors, maybe? Depends entirely on line of sight. But yes, this glaive got in just in time. Needs to move, though. It, line of sight is the problem. Get around the side. Actually, wow. Is this just, it's just, uh, that can't be out of range. Oh, line of sight is blocked by the jump bot factory. Still, free metal extractor. I mean, it's not nothing. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's not nothing. Ah, and Harassment Glaive got taken out over to the eastern side of the map. Magman setting up a Lotus. I hope Kshatra is paying attention here. I hope they've got this band. Well, this Glaive's dead. This Glaive's dead. There's nothing that can be done. It accepts its death and runs to it. It runs arms wide open to its face. And dies. And the Glaive is able to get rid of the, the constable. That is very good, even though the puppy's going to kill the glaive. Getting rid of the constable, as always, getting rid of workers slows your opponent down by a minute at least. It's always a good idea to get rid of workers, if possible. And this will give Kshatriya a chance to build up a worker of their own, because they just now are getting a conjurer, and that'll allow them to build up without losing too much time. And the other glaive coming in here, finishing everything off, and that basically puts Magman back on par with Kshatriya, but Kshatra has their own convict, or conjurer, not convict, convict is shield. They have their own conjurer, and that conjurer is going to be able to build up, although going to the southeast, this is a little unusual, very risky. Kshatra not going over to the south side of the map, which is what I would expect. Instead, going to the southeast side of the map, and that is basically going to make it possible for them to get killed without gaining anything. Whereas they went to the south center, that would give them a bit of extra money on the way to the southeast. It would slow things down, though, and I think that's what Kshatriya has in mind. They don't want to do this slowly. They're going to get slowed down enough by having the, these defenders here. That's the thing. Those defenders, that's about as much time, I think, as building a metal extractor. I'm pretty sure they're 80 each. Oops. Yeah, they're 80 each. Metal extractors are 75 each. So it's as much time to build that as it is to build these metal extractors. But it defends the Southeast Metal Extractor set, set better. It defends the expansion better. That's probably Kshatra has in mind. And at the same time, they are getting some Metal Extractors to the center, so that does help. And at the same time, Glaives over to the center hill, which should deal some damage. Magman's commander will take care of one or two of them, and the commander is upgraded to Beam Laser. But the other one, able to get rid of a Metal Extractor, so that's three metal per second down for Magman. Kshatra continuing to keep Magman's economy in check. And actually staking out the southeast as well, just to make sure nothing can be built up there with impunity. I mean, obviously it can be assaulted and taken from there, but that has to happen. Magman can't take it for free, while Kshatra taking the southeast for basically free, and taking the west center, and taking the center as well. Kshatra's been expanding a lot more slowly than Magman, but a lot more safely. So it's working out quite nicely. Unfortunately for Magman, Kshatra, sorry, for Kshatra, Magman already going for the moderators, Fortunately for Magman, they already went for the moderators, realizing they knew that the warrior was there, and realizing the warrior would be used as part of an assault force. Yeah, good to have the moderators there. Force the warrior back, make it a bit harder for Kshatriya to just attack. But at this point, I don't think Kshatriya cares. Like, Kshatriya, it seems like they're focusing more on keeping themselves alive than killing Magman quickly. It's like, I know there's that whole saying about how it's better to keep your opponent's economy down than your own economy up. Or to keep your opponent's economy from growing, then grow your own economy. But it's not—it's not a good idea to take that too seriously. Like, that's not a bad sentiment, 
but don't take it too seriously because if you do, then you end up with a completely dead economy. Your economy is terrible and you're banking on getting through your opponent, which will have a larger economy and therefore have a larger military, stopping you from being able to get rid of their economy with impunity. So you have to balance out building your economy with destroying their economy, and Kshatriya, I feel, is doing a really good job of that. I mean, they're basically expanding when when needed. They have enough units to stop Magman from really harassing them. They're harassing Magman when they can. And they've kept Magman inside of their own base. Like, Magman has basically only managed to take these two metal extractors here for any length of time, and even then, they've already lost them once, or lost one of them once. And now their commander, heavily threatened when these warriors heal up, Unless some pyros get built up to deal with this, or the moderators get moved forward to the commander, the warriors are going to be healing up pretty soon, in probably about 10 seconds, because the burning has to stop. And Kshatriya's commander in place too, so they could actually heal up the warrior as well. Granted, the warrior regeneration is really nice, but even then, the warriors could be healed up on top of that. And at the same time, Kshatriya is getting hit to the southeast, but that doesn't matter so much. I mean, Kshatriya just has a stronger economy overall. Magman dealing a fair amount of damage, but these are all but three of the moderators, and the remaining moderators are moving to the southeast as well. These warriors, now! Attack now! Get rid of the commander now, this is the chance. And it looks like sides are coming around the side, that's also good. Shatra flanking with multiple units. Ah, they missed their chance, the timing's over. Moderators are being moved in to support the commander, so, and there's too many lotuses. That is a problem. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate because, basically, Magman for Kshatra. Kshatra had about a five, four or five second window at most to push these warriors in, get rid of the lotuses, heal them up. I mean, even just putting them on the hill and destroying the lotuses the entire time. And then when the, when the warriors were fully healed up, they could kill the commander. Two warriors is more than enough to kill a beam laser commander. But now they're all going to die without having really accomplished a whole lot. Although at the same time... Ooh, that lotus! That opened the door for the warrior, which it sort of helped, sort of took advantage of. But yeah, these moderators are terrifying. There's way too many of them to easily be dealt with, even by glaives. Just the alpha is so high. I mean, they can be dealt with by a group of glaives, but with a single glaive? Did manage to get rid of two, though. So it's not bad. And at the same time, Sai is in the main base. So Kshetra just making sure Magman cannot ever really know where they need to worry about getting attacked. Getting rid of Magman's entire main base. Getting rid of most of their... Oh, a lot of their energy. And Magman... Doesn't think they can get out of this. I mean, Kshatra did have map control for most of that game and was keeping pressure on Magman. Like, Magman had a metal advantage, but didn't have the energy to make use of it. And with the size in their main base and nothing to deal with it, no puppies or anything, yeah, that was kind of done. It was all moderators at that point. So yeah, it really probably could have been a broader range of units. Like, the moderators, they were helpful. I mean... And yeah, that resign might have been a bit too early. I think Magman just sort of thought, well, I'm dead, my main base is gone. Not really. I mean, just build puppies. Send moderators back, maybe, but just build puppies. The puppies will tear apart the scythe, no problem. Like, you get five or six puppies, that's the cost of a single scythe. And then maybe one or two get killed by the scythes, and the rest of them kill the scythes. So, that's really the thing. I, why not just, I don't know. People forget puppies exist. Puppies are scary. They're absolutely terrifying. If you're a cloaky bot player against a jump bot player, you do not want to see puppies. That is the last thing you want to see, because that completely rips most of what you have apart. Maybe not warriors so much, but it most definitely rips glaives apart. Scythes also get ripped apart by them because they're cheap units. They can be used for screening for scythes, and they kill scythes. As soon as one spots a scythe, the rest of them just fire on the scythe, and two of them kill a scythe, or maybe three. Yeah, it's three. But still, that's like, that is such a powerful unit. And no one uses them. They're so cheap too, and especially if you build them up slightly in advance and you have the reclaim, you just turn that reclaim into more puppies. I know, I go on about puppies all the time, but I've played so many Cloaky vs. Jumpbot games, or I've seen especially Cloaky vs. Jumpbot games, where puppies are great. I don't know, did I miss something? Is there something, I'm, am I overvaluing puppies? I think I'm gonna be overvaluing puppies, but I feel like a lot of people are undervaluing them. Because they're scary. Anyhow, that's... A bit of a curious match. I think we're going to have one more. One bonus match. So, last match for today is going to be 400, again, versus Sanic on Icy Shell. So that'll be up in a couple minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs> 